Turn to the left. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, what the uh, fuck is that? Okay. Hey. He's cool. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do. Anyway, <laughs> high five one more time. I missed. It's dark. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is very dark. Uh, stairway to hell. Ugh. That's tempting. Can I go? I hit myself in the head with the, <laughs> with the microphone. You alright? Worst case scenario. The pilot. With Sumito Media. So, apparently, Incognito Mode, aka Internet Historian, has, uh, it looks like he's gonna be DMing. Or something. I don't know. I mean, that'll be interesting. I, oh, that would be really cool. Oh, yeah. I would be down for uh, seeing a sort of like D&D-esque campaign, especially from a creative genius. That's a good name for a D&D campaign, too. The worst case scenario? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go. Of a D&D scenario. Cool. What's it called? The, the worst, worst case, case scenario. scenario. <laughs> hmm. Huh. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm willing to give it a shot. Roll for initiative. Okay. You all die. Wow, that was fun. I know, right? You want to play again? It's fulfilling all my fantasies from real life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> sort of reminds... Okay. We're trying to come up with a campaign ourselves. And um, basically, um, I told Jake about what your idea was. You know, everyone... De you know, doing very fine details on their characters, then sending them into you by like, you know, you know, D and D uh, Beyond or something like that. And Basically, write all the backstory you want to write before I start writing, and that way I can incorporate all of it into what I write. Yeah, and again, I would. My love idea that. was gotten mainly from the uh, <clears throat> uh, Vox Machina that we watched. Yeah, because it looked a lot to me like. Matt had taken basically the backstory probably given by whoever was playing Percy and just made a whole fucking arc out of it. I mean, why not? It was really, really good. Yeah. I mean, it's that's a it was a great arc, and I would honestly be happy because I I wrote a D and D character and I put a lot of love and effort into the crafting of the backstory, and I would love to see that come to life. But at the same time, you know, uh, I could see it taking a minute taking a bit to get to telling that story because again uh you know you have to get, I, I would say like an introductory adventure for all of the party would be probably what we what we would have to do to get acclimated and get you know get up to speed on you know everyone's abilities and what we all can do again i i don't know uh, so basically, if I were going to write a campaign nowadays, depending on how many people are in the party, uh -huh. if there are more than four people in the party especially, after watching Vox Machina, I would probably do it in the format of chapter one being an intro, uh -huh. and then the party picking basically one of several leads to follow. And each of those leads would lead into a specific character's backstory-inspired chapter. And I would scale the chapters appropriately to whatever level they got picked at. Yeah. And after every character has their own backstory-inspired chapter, then you go through with the, uh, the, main quest. Of, the epilogue events. Ah, uh, fair enough. Well, yeah, I mean, like, you could go into a main quest and then an epilogue, but, like, I feel like if you did a chapter like that for every character, like, with a whole arc based around every character's backstory in some way, mm -hmm. at that point you would be pretty far into the campaign and could probably wrap it up whenever. Yeah, I could say that would work. But overall, the, you know, like, I'm very interested to see what other people come up with in terms of writing their, you know, fleshing out their characters and everything. I know that uh, I know that um, Jacobs talked about. Uh, he mainly just wrote a basic backstory for his character, and I told him, "Oh no, like go in on it, dude. Go in on it. Go in depth with your character uh, backstory because again, it'll just give you more things to play with and incorporate into the main overall game." But I guess we'll see how that turns out, and uh, I guess we're gonna see how. Internet Historian and Sumito's uh, thing pans up, so I'm going to pop this up on screen, 
And uh, let's see what uh, see what internet historians cooking. Here we go. Right, I'm all out of ideas for videos. Uh, Smito, you be you, and I'm me, the dungeon master. I'm going to throw scenarios at you, and your goal is to come out of them better off, or you lose. Get it? Yeah, yeah, okay. I can <laughs> do that. I'm capable of being me. Okay, perfect. Okay. Let me fire up Photoshop. Bing, 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 bong. The masseuse caboose. You are getting a massage. Okay. So relaxing. Ah, oh, this is great. And then he goes, all right, you're all done, sir. And he very quickly lifts off the towel and then... Hold on, excuse this image. <laughs> excuse this image. And then he goes, Hug! and he chops you right down between the ass cheeks. Wait, I need a <laughs> clarification here. <laughs> I thought he was going to have him chop him in the nuts, but like... That's even worse. <laughs> and the, That's between so the ass cheeks is just funny as shit. It's like, what the actual fuck was that? All of a sudden he's just like... <laughs> All done, sir. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like at that point if it's just like in there I'm just gonna be like okay time to make him pay initiate butt cheek clinch and then I, I, as soon as I hear some fingers start popping I'm just gonna be like have you learned your lesson maybe try to poop on his hand a little bit no <laughs> no I, I I don't want to sully my myself Instead, I'm just gonna break his fingers. You with have my, a towel there. My, if I'm gonna break his fingers with my ass cheeks. <laughs> has, has he split, split me in half vertically, and I am now? He has just, just like, like essentially karate chopped you between the ass cheeks. Okay. And then he uh, puts the towel back on you, and then he dusts himself off, and he walks away. Cool. You are now <laughs> wide awake. <laughs> what do you do? I would just go about my day. I don't know anything about massage. I've never been to Sweden. All right, I mean, I'll forget about this in an hour, I guess. So you would really just say nothing? <laughs> I didn't say I wouldn't do anything. I just refused to pay extra. That's all. You don't make a complaint? I mean, I wouldn't go back to the massage place, but what does putting in a complaint <laughs> do, you know? Ah. <sighs> All right. Okay, yep, so you get to the massage reception. Absolutely no shot they speak English, but let's go with it. Excuse me, Miss Receptionist Lady. Oh, hello, sir. I hope you enjoyed your Swedish message. <laughs> what the fuck is that accent? <laughs> hello there, sir. I hope you enjoyed your Swedish massage. Message. 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 It sounds like that... He... Okay, he sounds like those uh, laptop... Uh, help support guys uh, from uh, the IT crowd. Like, hello, may I have your assistance? Like, what? Hello, may I have your assistance? I bought a laptop and it's all like, what would you do that if you had? Like, I, I, I can't even. It's like, <laughs> it just <laughs> tries to walk through word for word with him. And eventually she gives up and drops the phone, and all you see at the end of the phone, you hear, hello? Are you still there? <laughs> It was good. However, I have a complaint. I was assaulted by your masseuse. Your masseuse chopped my ass. Also, do you guys have the, the Swedish meatballs available now? Or is that... Do I get that in the food court? I assure you, sir, our masseuses and masseurs are some of the most professional. They would never assault a person. Okay. Well, I'm calling the police. You better check the video. And then, okay, so then the masseur. Jesus. That's creepy as fuck. That is creepy as fuck. He comes out and he's like, <laughs> is there a problem? You punched me in the face. I'm playing it up super high, hoping that he's like, I didn't punch you in the face. I just chopped your ass. And then it'd be like, ah, ah I gotcha. You punched me in the face and then ran out of the room. Uh, sir, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> I think we call this one an L. I'm already feeling this isn't going anywhere. You're not going to fight it. Look at those arms. I don't think it solves anything. True, and now your ass is sore, so it's hard to run away. Yeah, that's an L for you. Anyway, sir, that will be 200... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not paying shit. Uh, I'm Swedish Corona. Yeah, you can suck my Swedish balls, and I'm, I'm just leaving. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the end of that scenario, and that scenario did not go well. Instead, buff Swedish masseuse was just was just like, "What you going to do about it?" 
to be excited. I'm, uh, brain. Right. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I'm more excited that this video is this instead of them playing D&D. <laughs> I mean... I like, their, I like his scenarios. He just puts Sabito in randomly when it, during its videos. Again. Just a whole video of that. I'm totally down for that. I am too. Add type. Bing the bing bing bong. Welcome to the Raycon episode of How It's Made. Let's do the tour of the Raycon factory to see how this disruptive new technology is made. Now, most earbuds are made from recycled medical waste, but not Raycon everyday earbuds. Come, see the fields where Raycons are organically grown. Go to buyraycon.com slash incognito to get your everyday earbuds. Ooh, look, there's a right one. They are picked and from here they go into the barrel, locked away for fermentation, which releases their static, giving them a crisp, clear, and bassy sound. Next, we test the battery. Quality components ensure that Raycons have a staggering 32 hours of battery life. And of course, they have noise reduction built in! Oh, that <laughs> must have gone over a hay bale. I'm so convinced he's trying to see if he can actually get these people to, like, cancel his sponsorship. All of a sudden, Raycon just calls up IH be like, what the fuck was that? And he's like, what? It's an ad. I, I wanted to make it funny and, you know, it make it look like you're a bunch of irresponsible... <laughs> Health and safety is a high priority here at Raycon Farbs. The new and improved silky rubber look and feel is so comfortable in your ears. We test them in the supple ears of local laborers, and that's also the secret to keeping them affordable. Because Raycons start at half the price of other premium brands. For example, listen to this Discord notification at 200% volume. So again, go to buyraycon.com slash incognito to get your everyday earbuds. With the built-in mic, you can take calls with the simple press of a button. They can confuse a McDonald's, so can I help you? Uh, two double whoppers, please. The R stands for G-Rate 5 Star Reviews. Over 50,000 5 Star Reviews. Now we put them in the cement mixer. We don't know why. So what are you waiting for? Here's CEO Ray J. He personally kisses every one of them to ensure strength and durability. They're Test unbreakable. Test Break them. Step on it right now. No, you step on them. Go to buyraycon.com <laughs> slash incognito. <laughs> you step on. Link in the description to get 10% off your Raycon purchase. Although to, be, eh. although to be fair, I would say that I've seen Raycons be ran over by cars and stuff like that, and they're pretty durable. Sponsor us, Raycon, please. We need the money. So there's Samito, he's in his apartment, and he is loving it. But then he gets a message on his phone. What, like a Batman? And it says... The bank has withdrawn $50 from your account. You balance negative $50. Yeah, that seems about right. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for buying Twitch subs for Alinity. What do you um, do? You I probably reach out to Twitch. Just click some buttons, reach out to contact. Hey, fuck you. Hello, this is uh, Twitch HQ. Uh, how can I help you? Listen, I know this is the eighth time that I've called you about this this month, but I promise I didn't do it on purpose this time. <laughs> Sorry, all purchases are final. And then all of a sudden, Bezos comes into the room and he goes, Tough shit, mate. I'm keeping my 30% cut. Now what? The only thing you can do is dispute it with the bank. I guess given that that's the only thing I can do, I'll probably do that. The Bank of America. Haha. Uh -huh. Inside bank. Oh, uh, so you're in there. How can I help you, sir? Hello, Mr. Of America. Fun fact! I I did this for a job for a while. You, at the Bank of America? Mm-hmm. So there you go. Filed claim disputes for Bank of America. I say. Hey, Literally. You're probably taught Okay. Hey, hey, IH, instead of Rando there, just get Nick. Put Nick <laughs> in the video. Because this was his job. You know, Not for very long, though. I didn't enjoy it. But still, it was your job. I guarantee but yeah, you. But I did do it for a little while. Yeah. I guarantee you it's you know, more likely to be your job than it is. I have a dispute to make. There's a charge on my bank account that I did not purchase. Ah. I guarantee you, like, this guy's never worked in a bank before. I, I mean, I, I, at least, like, not yeah, as, like, knows. a claims officer or anything like that. I mean, 
Maybe he, maybe he, this guy's probably the president of the bank. Why would he literally like the, sell himself with 90% of the time we would just be like, all right, I've put your claim through and you'd get your money back. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, it usually was pretty easy. Yeah. Oh, look at Ashy. Ash is over there on the love seat, just lounging. He's tired. He big tired. Anyway, sorry. I see. What a terrible mistake we have made. Let us fix that for you straight away. Simply give us all of your personal details, which you will now state during the recording. Okay. Uh, sure. F full name, the last name, internet historian. <laughs> no oh, we can see that you did not buy Twitch Alinity subs because clearly you have done it with a woman once before. We will offer that <laughs> refund straight away. Yeah. No problem. ka -chow is what I say when I'm satisfied at a bank. You go to the ATM and you put your card in, you notice something interesting. Your bank balance says... What? Wait, that's way more zeros than I'm accustomed to. I don't even know what number this is. What is that, like 90 bucks? Quick, make a withdrawal. 190 <laughs> bucks? 290 that's... bucks? I think I would like go to the ATM next to it, and then just stick my okay. card in again and just make sure it's not like a computer glitch. Like, yeah, this can't be real. I, I, no way this is real. Same deal. Holy dick suck. <laughs> Your hands are shaking. <laughs> Holy <laughs> dick suck. I would go to the nearest bank that isn't, like, uh, the, again, I'd go to the nearest first bank and trust and be like, uh, yes, I would like to withdraw $10,000 from my, uh, you know, from my checking account. Uh, just, uh, Real quick, and they'll be like, "Wow, sir. Okay, it would, that's. I guess that's just a drop in the well for you." It's like, "Yeah, totally." <laughs> uh, get, get, uh, can I can I have the money now? Thing uh. with adrenaline, you realize you've got a hundred million dollars now at your fingertips. I would go to a different bank than the one that I just walked into, just to make sure I don't bump into the teller. I. Be like, hello, I'm Mr. Fancy this and that. I'd like to withdraw a million dollars. Okay, the so you get to the next America. Bank of America, and <laughs> <laughs> the branch is a different from... Lello, Hades. Like, <laughs> how you doing? You, I think you decide to dress the part Sup. a little more. Sup. Okay. So, you go... Ha <laughs> ha, look at me. <laughs> right, you got, you got your iPods in, and you're going... Hey, peasants. Daddy needs his money. Chop, chop. Right away, good sir. How much money do you want? I'd like to withdraw two million dollars. Two million dollars. They just, like, start clapping. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. The whole bank stands up and they start clapping. <laughs> How... And he used the freaking <laughs> clip from Evan Kelly. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would you use that? Oh. Would you like that? In, oh. uh, non sequential $1 bills. You know what? I'll take a cashier's check, actually. I will tip you generously for this. And then I like rip a corner off of the check and hand it to her. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do that for yourself, sweetheart. How are you going to catch? That's how that works, Amino. I... <laughs> I think he knows that. <laughs> that check if you've only got one bank account. Different bank. Hop over to any other bank. So you go there, you open a new account, and you deposit the checks. Now what? Well, now the fun starts. Discord call oh my, my favorite favorite New Zealand-based YouTuber. I'm going to visit many kudos. <laughs> 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 oh, that's such a dick move. Oh. <laughs> okay, suddenly, ring, ring. Oh, fuck. I hope the checks went through. Bank of America falling. Moshi moshi. Good evening, sir. Uh, how are you doing? Is this uh, Sumito Media I'm speaking to? Yes. Yes, it might be, depending on how this conversation goes. Well, sir, I think you do know how this conversation is going to go. Sir, where is that money? It is not yours. I have uh, no idea what you're talking about. Sir, I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. We have... You know, I'm going to be honest with you. As a dude who's worth $98 million, I think I know a little bit more about how money works than a lady at the bank. <laughs> oh! Oh! Mito! Going ham on this! Damn! 
We're not taking this as a joke. We will be contacting the authorities next. We would like to see you at the bank immediately. You'll have to speak to my secretary. And then and then I hang up because the <laughs> conversation's going nowhere. Send in the bank police. Yeah, just okay, you. what do you do now? Go to Chipotle. I'm literally not concerned at all. You feel no stress. You are now on the hook for $2 million. Uh, it literally, the bank, the bank fucked up. Yeah, it's like, their they fault. They can try to do whatever they want, but they're not getting that money back, bro. Like, More than likely not. Somebody at that bank's fired and owes them a lot of fucking money. Yes. And plus, if it's a federally backed bank, $2 million is nothing compared to how to much To be money honest, like you should feel a little bit money. bad about taking the money because while you did technically fuck Bank of America, who is a scummy major bank uh-huh. out of the $2 million, the guy at the desk that accidentally typed a couple 16 extra zeros onto your claim is definitely losing his job. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> so. <clears throat> but again, I mean, do you know, okay, do you know how much money the U.S. Postal Service lost American taxpayers and the federal government had to fork over just to keep the the uh, U.S. Mail Service going? Mm-hmm. Let's see. A lot. Uh, I know the, the answer is, like, how much money did the U.S., how much money did the U.S., PS lose in 2021 over 4.9 billion dollars 4.9 billion dollars how are they hemorrhaging money like that because it's be- it's because their systems have not been updated their systems are old archaic and they're bogged down by a bunch of formalities whereas UPS FedEx and almost every other uh, routine like uh, like logistics company out there, they don't have this problem. Hmm. I mean, hell, dude, you all know how bad the post op- the post office is. Sometimes people pay an X amount of money to have boxes opened up inside the post office, so the post office doesn't have to risk losing it in transit to your house, and they still lose it. That's how bad they are. When they are so bad that you pay extra money to have them have it. There, so they don't fuck it up. They still fuck it up somehow. Dude, how bad does the post ser- post service have to be? 4.9? Hell, my sister had to quit because they were... They said that they were going to be downsizing her department and everything. And my sister worked her ass off to to basically uh, work for the U.S. Postal Service. She, she turned down... Uh, uh, she turned down uh, like raises and everything like that just so she could, you know, uh, s- you know, still be a mom to her two kid, two or three kids. But still, the fact that the postal service, you know, treated her the way that they did, and also not only that, but turns out the next person who came in, you know, after her, they got hired after her, got paid more than my sister did when she was working there. And had no experience working at the Postal Service. Shows you the kind of, like, bullshittery that they pull. So again, $4.9 billion a year lost to uh, to the U.S. Postal Service versus $100 million. Uh, that ain't, in the, US, in the U.S. government, that is chump change. Eat my $2 million ass. Not on the hook for anything. What you have technically committed is wire fraud. Eh, I'm going to go to Chipotle. Okay. No more Taco Bell for your boy. I've been thinking about this my whole life. (laughs) To Chipotle, Mr. Historian. Come on, roll the dice. Okay. (laughs) You're in Chipotle. Yeah. How you doing, boys? Let me get a burrito bowl with a tortilla on the side. Some white rice, please. Now what? I would download Coinbase to my phone. And I would purchase like ten million dollars of shit coin. Okay, well you've only got two million. In that account. I've still got the first account. <laughs> no, they've seized that thing. Really? Oh, well yeah. you're already on the line with the lady. Fucking smart that I moved money, I guess. Yeah. What do you do? Yeah. You buy a whole bunch of cryptocurrency with it? Yeah, I'd say just dump like one point eight mil into fucking Ethereum or something. To the airport. That's to a smart airport. move. Da, 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 da. Give me the money, give me the money. Oh, he's not here. He seems to have fled. Ha, I thought about this all along. Totally. <laughs> Definitely wasn't just hungry. Find this man. 
take him down. Ha <laughs> 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 the airport. My next plane, how can I answer? Hello, how are you doing? My assistant messed up my plane flight, so I need to purchase a new ticket for New Zealand. Oh, I see, sir. Well, our next departing flight is about six hours. I feel like six hours is a lot of fucking time. I was hoping to find something that would depart in like 30 minutes, but I don't want to be conspicuous. Go to Singapore. Singapore, I'm, they have like no extradition, no taxes. I mean, dude, you'd be in paradise. I, again, you're you're good. Because once you put all that stuff, the 1.8 into uh, cryptocurrencies, then you can extract it whenever the hell you want to internationally, no problem. So basically he was smart by doing that. If anything, he would have been smarter to get like 10 or 12 million out as a cashier's check and then do that. Mm. But, oh well. Hey, hindsight's twenty twenty. A flight in 30 minutes. Well, there are tickets to Thailand, the Ukraine. Thailand's close enough. I got a buddy there. I can wait the layover. When's that flight take off? One ticket, please. Sir, if you run right now, you'll just make it. Is this one of those romantic things for love? Are you trying to get on that flight before she goes? Exactly. I can't let him get away from me. He's only I've ever... Get, give me the fucking ticket. I do so. <laughs> <laughs> I love the effect. Just the, the romantic music. And then it's just like someone, it's like someone pulls the plug from the jukebox on the wall. It's just like... He's a... I was a, I would love that in a in like a movie where they break the fourth wall. Like all of a sudden, you hear the romantic music and everything, and then the dude who's listening to it, he's trying to do the speech. He's just like, "I just really want to get on the plane." And did, God damn it! Get away from me! He's only I've ever get. Give me the fucking ticket. I do so <laughs> love the romantic story. Oh. all right, sir. Let me just process that for you. Jesus Christ, you all right? Sir, I've got that ticket for you right here. These plane tickets look familiar. Oh, well. Uh, so what do you do? <laughs> do you fly coach? Do you go first class? First class, absolutely. What the fuck? You know how many fucking YouTube views I'll get for showing off the first class cabin? Class plane. <laughs> all right. You, you think you're Casey Neistat, oh, yeah. bro? Hello, hello. I am a airplane. I would like to take my passenger, please. Oh, it's good to see you again. Take your seat up front, sir. Haha, uh -huh. I belong here. I watched the in-flight movie. Flying through the air. Okay. You've got out of the country. Nice. You've got a bit under $2 million, and you now live in... Kok Bang, Thailand, baby. Ha ha ha. I don't know any Thai. I get a nice, reasonable shack that I rent in cash. Okay. You know, nice enough apartment in Thailand. Hell yeah, baby. I did it. Uh-oh, Sumito. Meanwhile, sir, the amount we were able to recover was only 98 million. And we believe that he has fled the country. <laughs> Hunt down this man. I want him dead. I want his family dead. I want his <laughs> potted house plants dead. No! I want my succulent. I really don't do think whatever. Bank of America is going to do that much over $2 million. <laughs> I don't think so either. I mean, it's really again, like a water toilet paper to them. It, it is. Although I just love the fact they got Don Corleone and it's just like, I, I want him dead. I want his family dead. I want everyone he's ever known dead. I want his house plants dead. It's like, <laughs> it's like, I want you to go to his. I want you to go to his parents' graves and piss on their ashes. Whatever you can. I did think of this already. Right. The reason I specifically like Eastern Asia is because you don't need to take a plane to end up in another country. That's the best part about it. Oh, your plan is basically just to live off the $2 million. I mean, you've seen Mark Weens, right? Uh, toilet? Yeah. The places they stay in, they're paying like $400 a month for like a 30,000 bedroom, yes. you know, sex dungeon. Toilet? $2 million is easily enough to live in Thailand for the rest of your life. Yeah. Yes. I'm down to be a crazy rich Asian. <laughs> okay. So you catch your Thailand boat to where? Take me to Singapore, my friend. That's yes! far enough. Oh, I told you. Okay, so Singapore, baby. It's the place to go. And anyway, let's go. Just as he's about to take off. That's it fast. I work for the mafia and I have caught up with you, Sumito Media. Uh, no, no speaking English. I am Fisherman. 
Get out of the damn boot, Samito. Mark, hit the gas. <laughs> Takes off and goes flying with him. Oh, yeah. And he goes, blam, 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 blam. No. Oh, Trevor <laughs> <He's>... James. <laughs> right, that's Singapore. Now what do you do? Uh, give the dude the equivalent of six lifetimes worth of cash. Right. You know what, Samito? Six you made it to Singapore. Oh, and then from there, you made it to South Korea. Hell yeah. You were basically a free man. They can't catch up with you. And you live now in South Korea. Retired, I guess. Hell yeah. Pass me the pad thai, the <laughs> national dish of South Korea. <laughs> You are on holiday. Okay. So here you are in London, and you are not. That guy, kind of, uh, uh, that guy right there, kind of looks like him. And sh- you know, mm. shape, you know, cut off his hair. Be like, yeah, there you are, right there. You're on holiday, and uh, you're in the tube. Having a great time. I hate it here. The beers are warm. Beans on toast is <laughs> not a real <laughs> food. <laughs> 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 I can just hear our British fans in Discord be like, Heresy! Heresy! <laughs> Ban this man! Who keen to see Buckingham Palace? I'm gonna see it, damn it. You get off the station, and you get to Buckingham Palace. Uh, Here you are, and you're walking along, and they're... Do, 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 mind the gap. There's a hole on the ground. There's a hole in the ground? Yeah, yeah but don't, don't worry, you jumped over that. Okay. Now, you suddenly hear... Dong, dong, dong... It's the bells. Oh, right. From that really famous clock? Yes. Big ben. Benjamin. <laughs> now, everybody knows that they only ring the bells when someone important dies. The queen. Oh. She had too many beans on toast, and she exploded. Ugh. Too many is one, by the way. And they go... <laughs> too many is one, by the way. One is too many, yeah. Oh, oh my god, quick. Get Prince Charles onto the scene. Okay. Hey, he's going. I'm not too late, am I? No, you're just in time uh, from my assumptions. Maybe you would have got here quicker if you weren't carrying a carriage. You go in it, my boy. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can for me, too. So he gets out of the cabbage. The cabbage. Cabbage! <laughs> right. And he has fallen into the hole. <laughs> <No>! <laughs> Well, I guess William's next. Hey, William, Charles just fell into a fucking hole. God damn it. He's like, he's like, fuck (laughs) again. The royal hole. Now you're the only one who saw it. Oh. All the cameras and the press go, oh my God, where's Prince Charles? Prince Charles, over here, over here, over here. There he is. Uh, There's Prince Charles. (laughs) Clearly. Clearly. Clearly that's Absolutely. Prince Charles. Absolutely. 100%. No doubt. It's like, yeah, I had a facelift and a skin darkening thing. Don't worry about it. It's right there. Hello, governor. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Charles. <laughs> Congratulations. You are the new king of England. Oh, all right. I guess. I'm going to walk through these gates into the palace and see if I get arrested. You are now, essentially, the king of England. Whenever someone's like, hey, how come he doesn't look that much like old photos of Prince Charles? Everyone just does this. Okay. Hold on, let's at least (laughs) give you some legs, though. You are now on the royal throne. I would like my finest knight to grab some cement and fill in that hole with as much cement as it should take. Now we're getting somewhere. Yes, you need to cover your tracks. Help, I'm still down here. I'm not actually dead. Yeah, shut up, Sumito. Go back to your YouTube channel. (laughs) I'm the king now. Kind of annoyed I had to do this myself, but whatever. I'm sure this crown will come in handy eventually. I would like to summon... The royal bookkeeper. The royal bookkeeper. What did mom leave me? There's got to be some cash somewhere, right? It was a hundred. Yes. Okay. Got any lottery tickets she didn't cash in? Some gold on her RuneScape account? Something. Well, (laughs) she technically left you the largest tracts of land in all of the United Kingdom, and which those profits are turned over to the government, but on average you receive an annuity of about... 40 million pounds, I think, is what the, on average, 40 million pounds a year to live off of. Sounds decent. Sounds good to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that sounds like a killer deal. Like, 
40 million dollars? That's perfectly fine. <laughs> I like to imagine that the queen was a massive gamer. <laughs> Prince Charles has a wife. Give us Camilla. a smooch. We will be together forever. However, could I rule such a country, wield such power without my source of personal power? Yo, yeah, we're going to be a great team. You're going to be with me forever, forever and ever. I hope the staircases are nice and high in this place forever. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. Damn it, Sumito. Although, knowing what I know about Camilla, I think a lot of the members of the royal family would agree with that plan. Damn. <laughs> what? Dude, she's a, like again, the whole the whole deal is like I don't know shit about her. Like, so. <laughs> reading up on as much as I have about the royal family, there's not very many people in the royal court who like Camilla. Mm. Uh which the whole the whole thing is between Charles and uh Diana, you know, Princess Diana who passed away. You know, their marriage was very tumultuous because Charles was very distant and very, you know, basically looked at her as like a breeding sow to, you know, give him two heirs. That's basically it. And it's not known who cheated first, but Charles cheated only with Camilla and Diana cheated with, I think, I think it was like six different men. I'm not sure, but... From what I understand, like, a lot of people say Charles was the first to cheat, in which, you know, again, two wrongs don't make a right, but how he treated Diana was just awful. And Diana didn't help her situation by, you know, being a little free-spirited. Ah, looks like I oh, made shit. it out of that He's hole back. in the ground. <gasps> Who the bloody hell are you? Innit? If you don't immediately give up the throne right now... When they do choose me, I'll have you killed in secret. Just like I did Mr. Epstein. What? I was with a party with him last week. He's dead already? I'm slinking away, Charles. You deal with this chick. She's got questions for you. Okay, Prince. I'll see myself out. You could steal some furniture on the way out. Oh, I'm not <laughs> done, Mr. Game Designer. I've tricked you along with Prince. All the better. I go find the Royal Guard. Oh. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> At ease. Uh, yes. Identify yourself. Who are you? Oh, my name's Tom Philip Moore from Westminster Van Hyvenshire. Oh, for up the on love Eve. of God, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is your occupation? What do you do here? Uh, we are the royal <coughs> guards. We protect the queen. Exactly. And who am I? Well, just from looking at you, we can tell that you are the bloody King of England. Exactly. Now, the King of England has a job. We are your personal army. Someone... Make of us what you will. You can do literally anything to us. Some... <laughs> God, <laughs> he is ending up to this. We lay down our lives. Okay, for God, for the love of... This is an Stop easier it. job done standing up, for the love of fuck. There is an imposter <gasps> in the building. Someone is threatening the crown. Oh my god, they are just trembling with rage. You are really gonna do a coup against the king. Listen, listen, listen. I head into the building. I walk up to Prince Charles. Listen up, in it, I've decided. No, it's my language. <laughs> I've decided I like the feel of the royal cushion against my bare ass cheeks. I'm the king. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta be honest. I've been sitting in it with no pants on. Yeah. Well, again, yeah, you know, sitting in the royal chair naked, I think, would be a lot of fantasies for a lot of people <laughs> in the United Kingdom. It's just like, I wonder what that would feel like on your bare ass. <laughs> I bet it feel good. Yeah, it would. Also, who? I bet it's not that comfortable. So, I bet you, one of those chairs that looks more comfortable than it actually is, but actually probably is as uncomfortable as all hell does. I was going to say, mate, think about it. Who would stop you? You're the fucking king. <laughs> You're right, mate. I'm going to just walk in with just a robe in my bare ass. <laughs> just hanging dong right there in the front of everybody. Like, enjoy the, enjoy the, the royal jewels. <laughs> oh, I hit, must hit mute. Your ass cheeks. I'm the king. Well, this is quite the twist. 
Everybody in this castle has already accepted me as the king, and I have decided a good answer from you will let you keep your life. I shall retire to Epstein Island. Come on, Camilla. Well, all right. If he's taking her with her, I'm getting a two-for-one special. I guess that's it. I think you win. Oh, you won that one. <laughs> I'm yes. England, so I don't, well, I don't now you're the king that. of England. There's no Chipotle here. Really? Nah. Fuck. <laughs> God dang it. It's both a win and a loss. <laughs> it's like, it's like I win. No Chipotle. Fuck. <laughs> You are Maybe that's the king of England. Car. You could okay. probably Can get you. somebody to fly you somewhere. Uh, I somewhere. guarantee you'd just be like, I decree that the next restaurant that will open in London will be... Chipotle. Chipotle. <laughs> it's like, uh, your majesty, um, what's a Chipotle? You will see. <laughs> see you all in good time. <laughs> and all of a sudden... What? What is that, a Boeing? <laughs> yes, a new Airbus. Sonito, you have been chosen to represent Earth. We are alien. You're identifying yourself as aliens? I would encourage you not to ask stupid questions. <laughs> what? Whatever, beam me up, Scots. Good answer. It says, be not afraid. Oh, we Jesus. have seen your movie films, and we have taken an appropriate form that we thought you would appreciate. Okay, I mean... Clearly, you haven't studied my particular taste in movie films, but... What will you ask us? What am I representing Earth in? How may I be of informativeness to you? We wish to... Listen, have you guys just, like, retired the anal probe? Like, is it still around somewhere? Like, <laughs> I see it? Did you guys do the cross circles? Is that a thing you do? Different guys, different guys. What about that one time where I swear I closed the fridge door, but it was still a little bit open? I've thought about that for years. Is that you? That is a game we like to play. We find it very funny. I knew it completely. We have one list of demands. I got you. I'm capable of providing. We have determined that you are the sexiest human alive, and we aliens are all gay. I knew Tinder was wrong, and I'm going to ignore the second half of that sentence. I'm. <laughs> we are all gay. I'm sorry, what was that? Uh, I'm, the, I'm the sexiest man on earth? Awesome. Only intrigued with the compliments. We will destroy the earth unless you agree... To be our alien sex slave BF forever. There is no way this is the premise. We have. Sumeto gets abducted by aliens and has to have gay. First of all, they're aliens. Gay you didn't alien even need sex. to assign gender to them. We had to specify it's gay sex with aliens well, for we, eternity to save a humanity have, that I don't even give a shit about. We have no concept of male and female, but we all have. Big penis and ball. We just love the word gay. <laughs> Listen, Sumito. We have advanced technology so that you can live forever. Forever and ever you will be our BF. Will you do it to save the human race? Nah, fuck it. Listen, are we talking like... Nah, fuck it. Beam me back down, we'll all die together. Fuck this planet. Like 24 hours of gay sex? Or is this like a twice a week married couple best case scenario sort of scenario? We will provide you with video games, the best movies. It will be practically heaven. However, we will be constantly doing you. <laughs> Blow the planet okay, up. So immortality, but you're perpetually being penetrated by aliens. That's the scenario we're going with? Yes. <laughs> These are our conditions. Sounds awful. I, I say yes. I'd say fuck. This is still more interesting than a normal life. You hit it here first, folks. Samito's gay for aliens. It's more <laughs> gay for galians. For immortality, but you know, however you want to spin it. Uh, uh, okay, we'll call this one a draw. All right, so let's tell you the score. You've got karate chopped in the ass. That's that's plus two stagger. You got two million dollars, but that weighs you down. So that's plus two encumbrance. You became the king of England, so yeah. That's also a penalty for some reason. And you became the gay alien sex slave. That is neutral. Well, congratulations, Samito. Uh, here's your prize. Chindamanti Stone of Shangri-La. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So there. There you go. That's <laughs> Sumito. We found out he's all about them gay aliens. Gay aliens.
And this was a uh, this was fun. I'm not gonna lie. This was yeah, that was a good vid. This was a good vid from uh, Incognito Mode. Uh, Sumito, we found out, is an international uh, bank heister slash King of England slash uh, Swedish butt massage victim. Uh, yeah, I I don't know. But what I do know is that I'm going to give this video a like and also a comment as well. So be sure to go to Internet Histori or In Incognito Mode's original video and check it out. And I guess until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I am Nick. And we will see you all in the next one, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>